So we are here with Masha, and she's a fellow downtown Jersey artist like myself. Um, welcome, Masha. Thank you. Or should I say Privyat? <laughs> как дела? How do you say welcome in Russian? Um, welcome? I don't know. Welcome. It's like, you know how there's words that yeah, aren't like the same? Yeah. Um, Drastvitya is Drastvitya. like... Drastvitya. Yeah, Drastvitya is like, I'm welcoming you in. Welcoming yeah. you in. Okay, I like that. I like that beautiful language. <laughs> so, would you mind telling us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, yeah. Um... So I am currently at Art 150 yes. um, Studio Spaces, and it's really amazing. Like it's a really good group of artists. Um, I've come to find out that are there. Um, I I like wish when people ask me what do I do, like what kind of art I do. Um, I hate giving an answer because it's really so broad. Yeah. Um, the reason why I got that studio space is so I could paint in oil. Oh wow. And um, my apartment in Jersey City, it's just like there's just not enough space yeah. to and have the oil the and my oil, dog yeah. and the smell and the canvases. Yeah. So I got the studio for that, but I'm finding that I'm doing a lot more like kind of arts and crafts like sewing photography kind of projects in there um so yeah i mean in terms of like art i just kind of run the gamut of like whatever somebody needs like i probably could figure it out yeah. you know um i went to school so my major was called visual presentation and exhibition design oh, wow. um and i wanted to go for illustration or fine art but i applied to school so late yeah. um that it was already full and that was one of the few ones that were open. So I'm like, okay, I just need to get to college. Oh, wow. You know, like all of my friends are going to college and I just applied for this one program and I got in. Um, and so like going through the major, we did everything. We did like working with mannequins, styling, um, graphic design. Oh, wow. We did CAD work for like floor plans and elevations. Um, and uh, I had like fashion design classes and illustration classes like it was wow. just it's such a, a broad it's like thing. that fame thing the fame where you learn a little bit about it. yeah like, that's pretty dope yeah and so everybody who was in school with me they all went in such different directions mm -hmm. um and just because my friends uh, my my boyfriend at the time his friend was looking you know she needed an assistant she was looking for one um i just took the job and it was in apparel graphic design oh wow um and so yeah so it's just that's so funny you say that because the first time, so I think we met when I was like curating the show back in May last yeah. year, and I remember you put the thing in front of your window, like the curtain. Oh yeah. And that totally reminded me, like, of like one Dutch Ed Hardy like <laughs> graphics, like the dope ones. Yeah. You know? I said, oh my gosh, you could totally have like a clothing line with this. So that's so funny that you say that because when I first saw that, like mm -hmm. the flames and the dough, I said this would be like kick ass. Yeah. Sure, with like flames on the shoulder, you know. Yeah, yeah, fashion's like very important to me my my mom she um she's been like a wedding dress um oh, like i, I want to say designer she wouldn't call herself that mm -hmm. but she she and my grandma have been sewing like their whole lives oh, wow. um she worked on like on broadway shows for, for the like costume departments oh, wow. and stuff um and so like i don't know fashion is just like in my genes like yeah. i i know how to sew just because i grew up around it oh, type of so thing cool. Yeah, so I don't know, maybe one day clothing line will be like oh, be a I'll goal. Definitely, I'll definitely check it out. But um yeah, that the like art that's in my window, it's it's definitely like Von Dutch vibes. Yeah. Very like kinda awkward and Oh no no, it's not awkward. It's like <laughs> it's like very to me like European like high fashion like club life, you know what I yeah, mean? Like yeah. <laughs> I mean it's pretty dope. Like uh, we'll probably try to put like an image here okay. so that people can get a vibe of it. That sounds good. <laughs> um and how would you describe like your creative process? Yeah, so I think like as I've gotten older and as I've worked in like a professional setting cuz I have been working like corporately, you know, since college, um which is a blessing but also a curse. Um, so now when I work on my own projects, it's very like, I have to plan everything. I have to mock things up, you know, like I use my Photoshop as much as I can. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah. And, um, so I'm like a really big planner and, you know, down to like, I have like a five by five canvas, but I plan all of it on Photoshop and oh, then I really transfer cool. it to my work. So a lot of times like that aspect of the, of the job takes 
like up 80% yeah. of my time and like my mental effort. But once I'm ready to get into it, it's so quick. Like oh, wow. I just pick it up and get this, you know, the work's done really yeah. quick. Um, so I wish I was more of like an experimental artist yeah. where like I didn't think about it and Too I didn't much, plan yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but that's where I'm at right now. You know, I think like I was talking to a friend yesterday and I was saying like, I think I won't really hit my high as an artist or like my full awareness of me being an artist I'm in my 50s like I oh, really wow. I really feel that way and That's I'm really okay good. that it that it would take that long because yeah. you know the best people it did take yeah. that long no know? I totally understand and I have a question do you find like your process when you like prepare mm -hmm. let's say like the canvas prior to start painting do you find that much easier to like have a, like a mission and a goal where the product is finished almost I find it easier just because the the subject that I paint is typically like photo, like photorealism or yeah. or portraits um and so you know it's really important to have like every piece of feature in the right place and like for that reason yeah. you know um if I were to just like experimentally do it 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 would I don't know I think that's like a battle as an artist is just like being able to let go yeah and that's like one of my things that I have a I have trouble letting go of is like not knowing exactly how it's gonna end yeah. up you know that's very I mean I think that's amazing that you have the self-awareness to realize that because a lot of people don't yeah yeah I don't um, know if it's good but no, it's, it's definitely good it, I did and I had to learn like that through the hard way like through critics telling me like you yeah. gotta like oh you gotta you know don't ch just chill out don't worry about it yeah but I didn't have that awareness like you know that you do that's pretty dope I mean, I, I've, like, done some, you know, just random pieces for people, and, like, my way of working it out was that I would mock them up, you know, so that they were able to know what they were getting, yeah. because um, just, like, starting out professionally on my own as, a, as an artist, like, I didn't have so many people to, like, speak for my work, yeah. and so that was, like, felt like such a safe way to be able to show what it's going to look like, yeah. and, like, when I did execute it, it was, like, you know, almost exactly the same as like oh, the previews wow. that I did. So that was like helpful for sure. Um, but I think eventually I'll definitely like be more experimental uh, and like really find my hand, you know, like yeah. my like true hand. As you That's call really, it. really cool. <laughs> and another question, like what are your inspirations? Like where do you get your inspirations from? Yeah, I, um, in terms of like artists, I'm really, really inspired continuously by Dali. That oh, wow. is like, an artist that, you know, you can just keep learning about yeah. and keep finding more about. Um, I think his work, like, really stands the test of time, as do so many others. But something about it is, like, so, I don't know, like, revolutionary in, like, thought. And um, very, it feels, like, very modern, but constantly modern, yeah. you know. Um, so I'm really inspired by, like, surrealism and his work. Um, and then on a daily basis, I don't know, I pull a lot of inspiration from just being aware of, of people and people's backgrounds and um, what it means to, you know, since I, I'm foreign, you know, I wasn't born in America, what it means to, to be a Russian person here, what it means to be an American and like how I relate to other nationalities and like I don't know. I think that's always been like an ongoing um, inspiration point for oh, me. Wow. Yeah, just like finding myself, who I am in this country, um, whether like I stick to my roots or I try to like assimilate to the American yeah, culture. <laughs> that's really cool. I like how self-aware you are. You know how like everything, is kind of like part of like a bigger piece almost yeah know? I mean it took it definitely takes a long time to like figure it out so I will figure it out for the rest of my life yeah. I don't know <laughs> what it is but like it, it uh I don't know it keeps me going I guess and like what do you like most do you like art that is in painting or do you like fashion do you like mixing the two I think um in the moment currently I am striving to work more with people mm -hmm. um so maybe like more of like a set design or just like a community type projects um in my in the future i would love to just paint as like my full-time career um 
I would love to have a family. Like, I'm married, and I don't know, I've always, like, wanted kids, so I have this, like, little idea of, yeah. like, my life being this, like, painter mom and, like, having two little kids to raise, um, which doesn't seem like such a, like, incredible goal, but that would be, like... Well, I think that's amazing. <laughs> that would be like perfect for me. Yeah. Yeah. Just have like so be surrounded by love and like be able to practice um, my art. But yeah, for now I I'm I've been like able to grow a really great network of people in New York, um, and just people who have their hands in like different pockets. And so I think we're all at this point where like we're assimilating to create this like bond of artists and like figuring out what we're gonna do with yeah. it. Um, but that's kind of like where I'm at now. Oh, that's really dope. Yeah. That's really dope. Okay, so do you mind telling us what you're working on right now at the moment? Yeah, so, um, I have been kind of like on this journey of like figuring out what my art looks like, like what my brand is, right, yeah. as, as like a, um, fine artist. And so I decided that I would take pictures of my friends and um which who are all very stylish <laughs> yes, yes definitely. Yeah. and um kind of like create a story about um what my friends mean to me um living in america on my own since i was 18 and uh which is that they're like my family so um i'm working on a show called friends with benefits oh, wow. and so it's uh i'm gonna be painting these photographs that i took of my friends and um just kind of like adjusting it to feel um surreal um so just like elements of like you know floating floors and random items that uh, kind of tell a story about what it means to be my friend and um uh yeah it's going to be like six to seven large pieces oh, wow. in oil How large um like like as big as this thing here yeah 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 i have like three pieces that are this size maybe maybe like a uh, 15 percent smaller oh, okay got you um so like 36 by 36 probably right yeah something like this that is probably like 48 by 72 yeah, so yeah. I think 68 is the vertical. Yeah, I'm horrible about math, but like when you become an artist, yeah, you're gonna, like, those are the, calculate the, the 72. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so I'm just going to be on a journey of figuring out how I'm going to showcase this. Um, I am not like fully familiar with the like gallery space business, you know? Um, so that's just going to be like part of the exploration, but that's, that's my next. Um, Thing I'll be working on. Oh, that's definitely yeah. dope. And add into that, um, when you do paint, like when you plan on Photoshop, do you use like a projector onto the canvas, or are you able to just look at the image and then duplicate that onto the canvas? Yeah, there's two ways. Um, I've worked with like projectors in the past, but I don't know. It's just more complex than the easier route, which is to create grids and print out, you know, oh, wow. what you're going to be working on, and then you translate the grid onto the canvas yeah. it takes longer but personally it's like more seamless you know mm -hmm. yeah. you don't have anything else involved you don't have to hook anything up and um in my studio it's so bright so yeah. i like i have you know the projector and everything but i've realized that it's so much easier to just oh my god that's very cool do it. never because i've never done that before so mm -hmm. sorry i never thought about it like i just pictured like people either like projector or mm -hmm. like drawing on paper and then like doing grid like grid by grid mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um but yeah that's pretty dope yeah. That. yeah yeah so that'll be i'm i'm like a quarter of the way through okay. so my goal is for like the summertime summertime to be wrapped up and yeah just kind of create a community around like what i stand for yeah. and um yeah that, that'll be my goal Oh, that's really cool. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm kind of like thinking about, is it like once, like I went to be an artist once, but I was actually like going and like was like doing my meditation and I was like, should we keep this in the video? Yeah, like, no. definitely. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh my gosh, it would be really cool to like interview certain people mm -hmm. and then depending like on the vibe, like interview them like later on and then yeah. see as they're catching up or like what they're accomplishing so yeah hopefully we will see each other very soon yes inshallah. yes um but yeah it should very, be an exciting year yeah definitely, definitely. Uh, i got good vibes 20 the year of the rabbit yeah do you know your chinese astrology sign i looked it up but i already forgot yeah. but 23 is uh, i was born the 23rd it's always been like a number that i see yeah. all the time so i was excited to like start oh, the wow. year yeah and one month what was your birthday november 23rd 
Oh my gosh, so you missed being a Scorpio by like two one, days. Yeah, I'm yeah, one Scorpio, day. I know. That's crazy. <laughs> oh wow. My mom is Scorpio. Yeah, oh, she shout was? Out, shout oh, out wow. to mom, yeah. She's um she's a Scorpio. That's really cool. Hardworking and Yeah. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah. And your dad is a Scorpio too? No, my dad I don't know what my dad is. I would say my dad is a Gemini, but I don't Gemini. know. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good combo, Scorpio and uh, Gemini. That sounds like a lot of craziness. Okay. And then Masha, what's your Instagram? Yeah, so it's um at Masha Vladimir. Um, and then my website is www.mashavladimir.com. Um, I have a lot of like my graphic design work, my fine arts, my photography, um, on there and just, yeah, follow me for some, Perfect. some arts and crafts. Yeah, that'd be very dope. Some <laughs> always, on yeah, arts and crafts. Yeah, doing some random, That's random really dope. shit. Definitely. Cool. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. On my podcast. It's yes. been a pleasure to have you. And we will see each other in a few months or weeks. And I'm sure you have accomplished so <laughs> much more than we talked about here yes, today. Yes, I hope so too. Thank you for thank dropping you. by. And that's it, guys. Bye. Bye.